hi everyone welcome again to my channel and please remember to subscribe today i'm going to take you through the steps so now you can speed up your computer so if your computer feels sluggish remember you are not alone it can be frustrating when your system is running slow but don't worry today i'm going to, to show you how to speed it up and get back to work or gaming in no time let's dive right in step number one what you are going to do we are going to disable startup programs remember when you you power on your computer there are some programs which run on background they normally start up automatically without you even starting them up so what you have to do let's tackle your startup programs when you boot up your PC, a lot of applications try to launch automatically, eating up system resources and slowing things down. But don't worry, you can turn that off. Number one, control, shift, escape on your computer. To Yes, control, shift, escape to open the task manager. Then click on the setup tab. Setup tab, this one here. You're going to click on this. Here you will see a list of programs that start automatically when your computer turns on. Right click and disable anything you don't need running at startup. Like in my case here you can see I've disabled some. So you can see that some like this one, CC Express is enabled but HK CMD module is disabled. Okay. So keep on essential programs like your antivirus or any productive uh, tools you use daily. But what you have to do maybe, you don't want uh, these, uh, these CC Expresses. What you do, right click on it, right click, then you can see a list of uh, options here. Choose Disable. And please, disable what you are, you are sure. Don't do anything you are not sure. Like... Maybe you don't know what CCX process is. Just leave it like that. Disable only things that you are sure what you know. Right? So I'm going to disable this. Click that. You see? It has been disabled. That's step number one. Now we are going to step two. We are going to clean up your disk. Step number two, clean up your disk let's close this one we are going to close this one right so clean up your disk we are going to free up some space on on our hard drive by cleaning up unnecessary files so what you do just search for disk cleanup in the start menu come down here and search for disk clean up disk clean up you can see it's up here just click on it you see this one here click ok all right then the tool is come for temporary fines system fines and other junk that's taking up space check off the boxes next to the files you want to delete so like for example we have uh, this one downloaded programs temporary internet files directx shader cache delivery or optimization files we have recycled bin we have temporary files we have thumbnails so what you do maybe you want to delete somewhere like for example i want to delete something like uh, recycled bin what you do just check it okay check check whatever you want to delete I'm only showing you, I don't want to delete anything in my computer, but I'm only showing you. So I'm going to uncheck these ones here. So let me uncheck these ones. I'm going to leave only this recycle bin. So what you do, you have checked all that. Huh? Maybe in your computer you have so many, <laughs> like you have a lot of files that are taking up space in your computer and you have to delete them. Just mark all those things you want to delete. And after that, uh, click OK. Just click OK here. You see, you'll get a, a notification saying, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? If you are sure, just hit delete files. Okay. Give it time. Okay. It has, it has finished. So step number, number three, we are going to update our system. 
remember your computer needs to be uh, updated each and every time you need to update your system so let us make sure that everything is up to date sometimes a slow computer is simply due to outdated software drivers so make sure you check on the updates of your, your windows right so go to settings open settings come down here and type settings so open that open settings then go to update on security after that eh, you are going to check for the updates you can see my mine is saying you are up, up to date right so maybe what you do you have to check this one check for updates click this one here when you click that it's going to say this i'm not connected to the internet that's why you can see that uh, an error has occurred make sure you are connected to the internet so that your computer can check for the updates that's step number four and remember and if you find any update make sure you you download and install it just do it please for the safety of your computer please though so that's now step number three now we are going to step number four step number four let's close this one step number four adjust your power settings eh? we are going to adjust our power settings your power plan may be set to power server which can limit your performance to save battery right so go to control panel open control panel uh -huh, control panel you can open that we are going to open common control panel open control panel then we are going to open hardware and sound then go to power options then after that you are going to create a power plan right click on that so what you do i'm recommending you to use this one go to high performance then set uh, click next okay and then click you can change these ones then click create okay you can see okay we are done with that we are now going to step number five which is we are going to scan for malware scan for malware another common this is another common reason for a slow computer because malware or unwanted software running in the background can normally slow your computer make sure to run a full system scan with your antivirus software so what you are going to do here open your antivirus software and run a full scan if you don't have any antivirus software installed you can use windows defender it's built into windows 10 or 11 if a malware is de it detected it's it will guide you through removing it so don't worry so for example what you are going to do step number six upgrading your hardware you can add ram in your computer or you can replace your hard disk with an ssd remember ssd runs faster than hard drive if you've done all the all the software tricks and your computer is still feeling slow it might be time for a hardware upgrade adding more RAM or upgrading to SSD can significantly improve your performance. So an SSD is much faster than a traditional uh, hard drive upgrade. And remember, modern mod, modern uh, laptops, uh, mostly they are, they are now using SSD, which is uh, SATA 2.5 or M2. So nowadays it's hard to find a new computer using a uh, hard disk. So if you do this, these upgrades can be, can breathe new life into an, an older computer. That's all I wanted to show you. Just follow step by step what I've said and you'll find something helpful. Your computer will start running faster and you'll be happy. And that's it. By following these simple steps, you can speed up your computer without having to spend a ton of money just to recover, huh? disable unnecessary stuff startup programs clean 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 up your disk <laughs> update your software adjust your power settings scan for malware and consider upgrading to hardware if necessary and if you want more tech tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so so you never miss any update thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video thank you